नमस्कार एंड वेलकम बैक टू सिंप्लीफाई योर स्पेस वी रिसेंटली टुक अ शॉर्ट वेकेशन टू सिंगापुर कंबाइनिंग टूरिज्म एंड फैमिली रियूनियन दिस ट्रिप हैड बीन ऑन अर विश लिस्ट फॉर इयर्स एंड इट फाइनली मटेरियलाइज लास्ट वीक इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल शेयर अर सिंगापुर ट्रेवल एक्सपीरियंस एंड द एक्टिविटीज वी एंजॉय आई होप यू फाइंड इट एंजॉयबल Singapore's MRT system is fantastic for getting around the city and budget friendly. Our 80% local travel was on MRT, only about 20% in cabs. We started our stay at V Hotel Lavender, which was conveniently located at Lavender MRT but had tiny room. We then switched to Holiday Inn at Orchard City Center. that was very comfortable and spacious since the room itself had two queen size beds there was no need for us to order extra bed for our child and since we booked them all at last hour they were expensive indeed lesson for me do some planning and booking in advance singapore's compact size is remarkable you can traverse from one end to another in just 45 to 60 minutes even on longer routes The city boasts excellent road signage and pedestrians receive top-notch treatment while road users follow traffic rules meticulously. What's truly impressive is Singapore's cleanliness. There is hardly any litter on streets. City has breathtaking skyscrapers, lush parks and numerous shopping malls. It is meticulously designed and tourist friendly with a constant buzz of exciting activities. One of the absolute highlight of our trip was Universal Studio which is like stepping into the world of Hollywood. We had an absolute blast spending a full day there trying out some mind blowing rides. Some of my personal favorites included the Mummy Ride, Jurassic Park and the Hollywood Experience. They even had a live action show with real stunt performers that left us in awe. Another gem was the Singapore Aquarium. What amazed us even more was how impeccably clean and well maintained the aquarium was. There was not even a hint of a fishy smell. My son had an adventure of his own when he tried i fly a thrilling experience that made him feel like a bird in the sky Near Universal Studio on Sentosa Island we discovered the Lego world it was a lego lovers dream come true The store had thousands of different types of Legos and not just my son but we were all amazed by the sheer variety. It was like a treasure trove of creativity. After much of inky pinky ponky my son finally chose one to take home as a souvenir of our incredible trip.
Singapore's famous spot, the Merlion Park, was also incredibly beautiful. While enjoying the view, Athar entertained us with his Onam dance steps. We also explored the Marina Bay Sands area, the Singapore Flyer and Gardens by the Bay. These attractions were conveniently close to each other and we managed to visit them all by walk. Marina Bay Sands had a real gem, the Art Science Museum. It was a beautiful and thrilling experience like no other. The real jaw dropper was an activity where you could make an airplane on a paper, scan it and watch as it transformed from a 2D shape into a 3D flying object on the wall. The best part, you could control it with the remote. It felt like we were flying a toy plane and it just left us in awe. It's incredible how far technology has come. Just outside museum, we witnessed a mesmerizing light and music fountain show. Truly an amazing experience. Gardens by the Bay was another highlight. A collection of vertical gardens that were stunningly designed. They even had a daily light and sound show in the evening and it was something out of a dream. You would almost believe you were in a magical world and the best part, it was free. We also made a stop at Jewel, the amazing attraction at Singapore airport. The tall waterfall there is a sight to behold, especially as it changes its appearance when viewed from different levels or floors of the airport. It's truly mesmerizing. During my visit, I had a wonderful reunion with my first cousin, who has been living in Singapore for nearly 15 years. It was a heartwarming experience as we talked and laughed about our childhood days in Delhi when we used to catch up on summer vacations together. We all had a fantastic family time. What really struck me about Singapore, apart from its attractions, is its cleanliness, well-maintained roads, easy transportation and safety. It's one of the safest countries in the world with almost no crime. Even small shoplifting incidents are well documented and shared publicly to raise awareness. Most MRT stations are connected to malls, making it convenient for shopping while traveling. We also tried this amazing orange juice machine that freshly squeezed juice for just $3. It was a refreshing treat. But convenience has a price and I generally found almost all the things quite expensive in Singapore. And my perspective of seeing things as tourists could be different than people who stay there. Now we are back. Returning home after the trip was such a refreshing feeling. I really missed my home and ghar ka khana. I was literally craving for adrak wali chai which I couldn't get there. Despite Singapore being expensive, I found some affordable items and enjoyed some shopping. Let me show you what all I bought. We got Skechers shoes at a great deal, which was better than what we would find in India. My son finally found light shoes and I got myself a pair of black shoes. There is a brand called Charles & Keith known for trendy handbags and shoes, so I bought two bags from there. We also picked up some souvenirs for family and friends including a Singapore Airlines plane model. And yes, how can I forget the most famous Tiger Balm? We also got this photo clicked and printed in Universal Studio for a memory. And I can't forget to tell you about the Lego we bought from the Lego world. It's become my son's new obsession. 
He started putting it together as soon as we got back. It took us three days to assemble this Lego train, and my husband and I also chipped in occasionally because it was quite a big project. So that's the wrap up of this travel experience. It's always wonderful to travel, but there is something truly refreshing about being back home in your own peaceful world. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and see you all next week. Bye bye.